I'm soft. Your body changing directions. When my body, watch, I get right here. When my body changes directions and the momentum of the club is going that way and my body changes directions, it's that momentum of the club from the change of directions of my body that drops my arms and shallows the club and does all the work for me. Okay, gotcha. The ball's in a different spot, but how the racket, how the racket works relative to your hands. How's the pitching wedge in my life? Is the same thing. Yeah. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I'm with Mike Malaska at Fire Rock. Hey Mike. Hey, good to see you. Okay, so we did a video about the loop and how crucial the loop is, and I yeah. really like how you said that it's not a, it's not like a function of style that like, you know, guys want to look a certain way. It's like, so something you kind of, you're just so behind the eight ball if, you, if you're Well, you're fighting, you're way. fighting the okay. momentum of the club. And yeah. if you use the momentum of the club correctly, then the momentum of the club starts making your body want to do what everybody wants their body to do. So people have come, they've been, I've been doing BOR golf now, almost seven years now, I think. The, the main golf term that people know is over the top. Right. So you get that on every video. I've had uh, PGA Tour players come on my channel and somebody will comment, oh, he's over the top. And this guy's making like, you know, a, a career out of it. So, but like, I can see what they, they see is that I'm here in the transition. It's about like that. And so it's just like, the loop is like that. I want to make my loop the same magnitude, just flip it. So it goes from here to that rather than from here to that. Yeah. So uh, what do you recommend? Or let's, let's go through like kind of like a 12 minute lesson here. Well, first of all, when you take the club away, okay. this, this case set up there. Now there's all kinds of ideas about looping. We're talking about what the club head's doing. Okay. So the club head, if the club head gets back in here too soon, yeah. then what's going to tend to happen is the momentum of the club at some point in time has to lift. So it's lifting and coming back at the ball. So if that happens, then it's going to tend to want to go this way. Okay. So you want to feel like the club head stays outside your hands or closer to the ball as long as you okay. can. Mm -hmm. So it's here, then it stands up, and then as the club goes up to the top, the club head, as you change direction, goes this way. Mm -hmm. Now that's what makes those guys look, their hands look like they move out. Mm -hmm. Their hands look like they move out, but the club okay. head goes back. Yeah, it does. So they, they're, you're looking at the handle of their club looks like, when they change directions, the handle looks like it goes out, but the club head stays back in here. Yeah. Well, it's because the club head's out here, and when they get here, as they start to change directions, the club head's still moving behind their hand, so this happens. So what did the club do? It's here, and the club head fell back that way. You see what happened? Mm -hmm. Yep. So you got to have this feeling. Yep. With the club head. So it's got to work this way. Yep. It works like your baseball bat works from mm -hmm. here to here. Yeah, there certainly is no problem in hitting a, a baseball. It's and a forehand. The loop it's, it's a forehand yeah. in tennis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So all those rackets, they all work like this around your hands. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about how the club works around your hands. Nobody's club works like this around their hands this way. Nobody effective, yeah. Okay, so all of them, their club works around their hands this way. You feel that? Yeah, I do. Okay, so I want you to hit one here where you're mm -hmm. gonna take the club out here and then mm -hmm. let it work behind your hands and hit, but you're gonna do it at about this speed. Okay. So the club is gonna go like this. It's okay. gonna go out just like that. Okay, at that speed. Yeah. yeah. No right. harder than that. So I'm going to take the club back for you. Yeah. Just like that. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah, Mike, I definitely have the club head moving faster than my hand, like this little thing on the way back. Yeah, so, so it's going to go, to it's gonna go out uh -huh. to up. Yeah. That's fine. Nice. It's okay. It doesn't on matter. the hosel a couple That's times. Okay. But yeah. Club head this way. This way. A little too hard. Okay. You don't have to swing quite that okay. hard. So the key is, mm -hmm. when you go back, this has to go up there. That's fine. It goes up mm -hmm. to under mm -hmm. to around. Okay. It doesn't go uh, up I'm swinging the first to base. under <laughs> yeah. to out here. Yeah, that's what I was okay. doing. Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to dry it goes, swing. It goes up to under to around. That's it has different. to go around on the follow through okay. too. It okay. can't keep going out to the right. Okay. So it goes up to under to around. There you go. 
Yeah. So the biggest mistake people make with this circle is they get the club where it's finally, where it's dropping to can come in here. And yeah. that's when these guys talk about push out of the way and go left. Oh, okay. If you if the momentum of the club gets in here, you got to push out of the way and go left. If you if you go here and you let your arms go out away from you, you hit everything in the hawser. I see. So it goes, it goes, up to under to the left. There you go. Okay. That's too big still, but goes up mm -hmm. to under to around to the left. There, perfect. Let's try that speed. Up to under to around to the left. There you go. Perfect. So now the more the more up you go, uh -huh. the more you can feel it go under and then you go around to the left. So you start to feel the weight of the club wanting to drop a little behind you, for lack of a better term. Right there. Uh, there you go. What do you mean you start to feel it wanting to do it, like on its own? So, yeah, so you're here and uh -huh. you change directions. The weight of the club wants to do that. Okay, gotcha. So it wants to, the, everybody talks about shallow the club, shallow your mm -hmm. arms, get the club to come more from the inside. Oh, so you're, you're not like using muscle force to no. torque it that way? Oh, I'm okay. at, I actually, I'm, when I change directions, the club wants to go this way so much that I'm actually having to feel like I push it the other way. Oh, okay. Because it, it gotcha. wants to go this <laughs> way. I'm having to feel it go this way to keep it where it's supposed to be so it doesn't gotcha. get too far behind mm -hmm. me. Gotcha. Same speed, Mike? Yeah. There's no reason to go any faster. Okay. Up to under to around to the left. So then, like I say, when when they see these tour players and you see their hands, they you see their hands. They say, "Well, they're coming over the top yeah, with the yeah. handle." Uh -huh. You're watching the wrong thing. Okay. They, you know, they go like this, and the club goes behind their hands, and this handle looks like it comes out, but the club head doesn't go out. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. They're, the club heads the club heads doing this. The club heads working this way. See, the club head isn't working that way you know it's it, the club head is going it, it's up here and when they change directions their club head goes back but because the club head's going is going here the handle of the club and their arms look like some of them like their arms go out a little bit yeah. but then they drop down mm -hmm. well that's because the club head's going this way so it, it, the handle looks like it's getting pushed out a little bit the other issue with that go ahead and take a hold of the club the big issue with that, where we got in trouble, is when you get to the top of your swing, the handle of the club shouldn't be pulled forward. Okay. The handle of the club actually moves away from you like this. See? It moves away. So when these guys, when they change directions and the club falls here, the handle moves away from them and that way. So it gets them really back in here so they can come into the ball on a different, a very shallow angle of approach. Okay. What you don't want is what we heard pull, and we did pull by pulling the handle forward like this, which is where, when I saw you when we started, you had a lot of this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this handle has to go back this way. Okay, gotcha. So that's why that loop, up to under, it, yeah, so the up, when you go under, it, it drives the handle out away from you. Yeah, and I think it's a cool feeling, I'd like to try to ingrain a little better, is that the, the hands going this way is a result of the body going back the other way. That's right. So it's not like, because I could just freeze and make this no, no, kind of no. circle or that kind of circle, but if I am soft... Your body changing directions, when my body, watch, I get right here, when my body changes directions, and the momentum of the club is going that way and my body changes directions. It's that momentum of the club from the change of directions of my body that drops my arms and shallows the club and does all the work for me. Okay, gotcha. So it's the momentum of the club because of how I change directions with my body that makes the club shallow out, if you want to call it that. Whatever you want to give that, whatever name you want to give that. Okay. And when I see the ball go left like that, Mike, is that a path or is that just strictly face? I that's don't, just, I, I never that's know just how a, to... that's for you, that's just a face. That's just flipping the face closed. It's good. Okay. I mean, when, when we first met the first time, I mean, you had, like a lot of us, you had so much drag the handle forward. I was just hold so it desperate for forward shaft lane. For forward shaft yeah. lane. And then to do that, then you had to turn the face down so hard gotcha. to keep from slicing it that there's still some 
of that okay. twist left in your swing that you don't need. Up to under and up to under. The under is caused by the change of directions and the momentum of the club. There you go. I, well, I like how I can see my shadow here. I'm using like a mirror. So if you change directions at the right time, which is when the club's about halfway back and the club's out in front of you, then the weight of the club's going to fall behind you a little bit, behind your hands. That was my best shot of the day. Which is going to shallow the club or whatever you want to call that. Mm -hmm. And so the momentum of the club then, that loop, sure, and the change of directions drops the club into what they used to call the slot. And I like how we've been, we've hit about, um, 10 balls off this spot and I can still use this spot. Well, yeah, Normally you know, I, I would have destroyed the spot. But well, because you're <laughs> right. steep. Yeah, right. Because before yeah. you were, you, you take it back a little here and you get, you, you're late to change directions and you get a little steep so you're turning the leading edge down into the ground. See, the, the biggest change in golf, if you look at the tour in the last 10-15 yeah. years, uh -huh. there's been three big changes. Left hand grips have gotten significantly stronger. There's less and less, less and less face rotation. So the club face now, they, they, they understand that this club face is not shut, that that's at a 90 degree angle to the swing arc. So there's less and less face rotation. Mm -hmm. And there's less shaft lean at impact and there's more rotation in the swing and less lateral motion. There's still okay. lateral, but less. Yeah. So those three things, stronger grip, less face rotation, and more rotation in the, in the swing, and not as much shaft lean. That's the biggest change in golf in the last 15 years. Some of it's been driven by this golf ball, because that golf ball, relative to the ball I started with, spins about half as much as the ball I started okay. with. Okay. The old ball we had, you had to lean the shaft and knock it down because it spun so much, it would spin right up in the air. Okay. So you stop the ball more with spin. Yeah. Now you have to stop the ball more with angle of descent. Okay. So there's less shaft lean now than there used to be. And because the ball doesn't spin as much, these guys hit it high and hit it hard. The wind doesn't affect it as much. So a lot of the ball has changed these guys' approach to how they use the club on the ball. Mm -hmm. So they're not de-loft in the club nearly as much and they're not turning the face down as much because okay. they don't have to. Okay. All right, Mike, so I'm going to hit one more and then we'll just talk about homework for me and for other people that are that are working on this a super common issue. So I'm going to go, uh, I think this, if I would love to get from here to here more correct rather than, you know, that. Well, if you push, if you, you think about the handle of the club, if you push uh -huh. the handle of the club down and in. With my pad here? Yeah, yeah. It, it makes the club head stay out there. Okay. If you start trying to keep it low like this, that can get into all kinds of weird stuff. So if you just push the handle down and in a little bit, okay. it'll keep the club there. And then just let it break up and then it let the weight of the club go this way as you change directions. And it'll feel like your baseball bat swing feels. It'll feel like your tennis racket oh, feels. That's my baseball swing. You see, that's why wouldn't you just do that? Because the ball's on the ground, <laughs> maybe. See, that's really good. Yeah, I mean, it feels so natural. I mean, I could do that a thousand times, but that's what I'd like to get. We'll okay. do the same thing. Yeah, okay. Oh, so close. I was just a little bit above Just a it. little thin. Yeah. So people, go ahead and do that again. I'll show yeah. you I'll show you. So home. this was the, the baseball one was this. And if it was coming, like if somebody was pitching it right here, I'd go. Yeah. Or they're not only are they pitching it there, do that again, baseball. So when you hit a baseball, see so you're hitting it out here. Now all of a sudden the baseball was, but now the ball's clear back here. So you're gonna have to get turned more. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you're gonna have to, the handle has to, you have to pivot the club sooner because the ball's gotcha. further back. Gotcha, you're catching it, it back a little there. faster than you anticipated. Exactly, so baseball is, baseball you're hitting it out here, this one you're hitting back there. Okay. So you've gotta get turned a little more and you gotta pivot a little sooner. But past there, it's there, that's really good. Yeah, that was really good. From a homework perspective, what I would tell you and a lot of people is just, first of all, take that thing mm -hmm. and just feel how the bat works relative to your hands. Okay, now, instead of the ball, instead of hitting a ball out here, mm -hmm. what would you do if the ball, if the baseball was right Teed here? Teed up there, low. Down here, you'd have to turn more. You'd have to turn a lot more. Exactly. 
but see how the bat but you see how the bat works i'm trying to look at it in the shadow oh yeah see? it has to say deeper and yeah more there's, more there's how the bat works so up to under it's the same up to under and if you're not a if you're not a big baseball guy yeah you take your tennis racket mm -hmm. and hit a forehand Forehand normally they said to catch it here. Okay, but Kinda now like you got to catch saying. it back here. But see how the racket worked up to under. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's a little tighter, a little more rotated. But but the thing is, see how it worked up to under. Up to under. Mm -hmm. So they're they're the same. Yeah. So all of these sports, they basically the now you now you go to golf. So you think uh, homework wise, like it, it maybe get out the. Uh, the kids sports equipment and start swinging it around and flip-flopping yeah yeah because your instinct for those sports and how they how the racket or the bat works the only difference is the ball's in a different place so you have to adjust a little bit the pivot point yeah because the ball's in a different spot but how the racket how the racket works relative to your hands how's the pitching wedge in my life is the same thing yeah awesome all right, so I have my uh, kind of uh, kitchen drill, which is what we learned in the other video. Yeah. This, the thing that it was really important that, that I, what, if I would have gone home to do this like at home kitchen drill kind of thing, I would have gone here and then flew the hands out that way towards first base too much. Right? It, it, they got to come around the corner, continue yeah. the arc. They okay. come around and they yeah. hit the ball and then they go around on the follow through. And then uh, f uh, just trying to incorporate the other things that I've always done pretty well athletically and uh, just tune it to golf. You know, all those things I'm catching out here, but I got to just turn a little bit more to catch it here. Yeah. Love that. The balls move back a little further. So you are turned a little bit more and you catch it right here mm -hmm. instead of catching it out there. Mm -hmm. And then what, what about for the final thing, Mike, um, just to help me remember from here to here, that first part of the takeaway, it's like a yeah, you push the handle. If you push the mm -hmm. handle, if the handle goes down and in like this, mm -hmm. the club head is going to stay out there. Okay, gotcha. If the handle goes out at all, the club head goes behind you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I've noticed that. Like, I get too much space in between my leg here. Like, if you're looking in a down the line view, you can see a lot the, of space. The space, yeah. but if the handle goes down and in like this, mm -hmm. the club head can't get behind your hands. Yes. Or if your right hand aims at the ground, your right palm. Okay, yeah, so like this, uh, Iron this, Man's light would If this be goes like that, this, yeah. the club head has to be out here. Mm -hmm. If this twists, then that's when the club head gets behind you. Okay. So a handle goes down this, so it's either that or the handle goes down and in. Either okay. one of those keeps the club head out here. Yep. And then it goes up, and then it routes, and it comes right back to there. That's awesome. Okay, I'll work on those things. You guys, if you want to check out more details, very great details, about what Mike teaches. There's hundreds of hours of footage on MalaskaGolf.com and Be Better Golfers get a special discount that's in the description to this video that you guys will see. But be sure to click the subscribe button. I always see in the stats in YouTube that um, about, I don't know, 85% of the people who watch the videos are not subscribed. So it really, it costs you nothing and it, would, uh, it makes a big difference to the channel. So click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, bye.